YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video and today I have something very special for you guys as you guys can see on the screen today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this cartoon game uh, character page UI as you can see um, this is a very cartoony look so I am excited to show you guys how this is made so without further ado let's get right into it first things first I'm going to make a new layer I'm gonna head over to the left side of my screen and we grab the rectangle tool and from here I'm just going to grab this shape as you can see just this uh, inside part I'm gonna change the color to white just for now so we can see what we are working with we will change the colors and stuff later on alright so now let's see alright now let's make a new layer again and this time let's click and hold and let's grab the rounded rectangle tool right here and for the radius we could go with maybe 10 or 15 I'm going to try 10 for now so let's just drag it out shape okay let's go with 15 and let's and drag out a shape just like this you have to go over it just a little bit as you can see because we're going to cut this off alright so now with this first let me just do a random color move it here okay first let's make sure this is aligned as you can see make sure to check our store at gfxcomment.com we have free templates free graphics packs as well as user interface and much more you can check out at our store thank you for all the support and with that being said i hope you guys enjoy this video all right now with this let's double click change the color to purple now let's right click and let's hit rasterize layer as you can see now i'm going to grab this tool the rectangular marquee tool and i'm just going to go over like this right here and i'm going to hit backspace on my keyboard and now i'm going to hit ctrl d on my keyboard we now have this cutout shape we're going to right click and head into plenty of options and from here let's hit bevel emboss and turn soft and back down and from here we're just going to adjust our angle until we get something that we like so let's just keep playing around with this right here this looks pretty cool let's adjust the size as you can see uh, normal let me adjust the contour a little bit that's pretty cool oh, all right Let's turn this down. This goes up. And as you can see, that right there. Um, and as you can see, this looks pretty good so far. I'm going to add a slight drop shadow so the color will be black. And just something like that. 90 degrees. And I think that is pretty good. I'm going to do a pass a little bit. 85. Alright, we're just going to hit OK. Now let's make a new layer again. I'm going to grab my pencil now, right here, with shape on and fill on, color white, stroke is off. And now I'm just going to make these little shapes here. So here's one, here's two, and right here is three. So, so these go right here. Uh, this one, I'm going to change the color to this little dark area, so it matches like that, and this one, we go for this purple color. Then, let's go into blending options here, in your shadow, I'm just going to change the color to white, bring this choke up, overlay, and let's adjust the angle. Let's go back to normal actually. This one is going to go like this. Right click, copy layer style, and I'm just going to paste it onto this one as well as change the color. Like so. Alright, so that looks good to me. And now let's make this middle, uh, this the actual uh, 
the actual frame, the main frame. So we're gonna, so I'm just going to double click. I'm gonna select this nice blue color. Right, let's hit OK. Now let's make a new layer. Let's hit right click, create clipping mask right here, as you can see. And uh, you can see the sides get a little dark, right? And it's a little purple. So I'm gonna change my colors to purple. I'm just gonna go around the side, add some purple, just some very slightly, like that. Right, let's get some me. New layer, uh, clip it in again. Now I'm gonna use my color black. And I'm just going to paint a vignette around this. Sort of like this. As you can see, it's kind of coming together. Like that. I'm gonna change the I'm gonna change the mode to self light. I'm just gonna copy this layer, clip it in again. Let's go normal. There we go. That was great to me. Go new layer, clip it in again. And I'm gonna use my color white. Let's just paint in the middle. Change this to overlay. There we go. That was good to me. Alright, so for this bottom part, we're just going to repeat what we did for this uh, top part. Um, we're going to grab our rounded rectangle tool, as you can see, and I'm just going to drag a ruler here. Okay. So, we're going to go right here, I'm going to drag this out like that. That's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and change the color to a nice purple. Uh, let's go up actually, let's grab the same purple color. Let's hit OK, let's hit right click and rasterize layer. Right single marquee tool, we're just going to go over here and cut this out. There we go. Now this, we're going to double click. Let's grab an inner shadow. Angle 90. There we go, perfect lower the opacity right so as you can see this is what we have so far it looks uh, really nice it looks amazing at least I think so 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 now let's make a new layer we're going to make this little name area so I'm gonna use my color picker eyedropper click on this use my rounded rectangle tool radius will be I'm gonna try five this will just go right here as you can see, and I'm just going to type out a name, GFX Comet. <laughs> this is going to go right here. There we go. Um, I'm going to adjust the color a little bit to this, actually. I think this is better. Alright. Alright, so I just brought in this Goku render. It's cut off, but <laughs> I think it will still serve its uh, purpose here. So I'm just gonna bring it here, um, just like the reference I have does. Uh, let's, let's place this right here. And if you have icons, you could just add them in here, but I don't. So I'm just going to type out the uh, text of so 13.6K. This will be white, and I'm just going to place this right here. Uh, attack. This will be a uh, this will be a lighter font weight. That's going to go right here. I'm going to group these up and just copy this down. So 94.7k. This will be armor. And we're just going to copy this once more. 5.03k skill damage. I'm just going to do magic. Alright, so this name thingy copies itself. And it's going to be a label for progress. There we go. 
right, looking good so far. Let's make these uh, buttons. So, new layer, rounded right angle tool right here. I think a radius of 10 should work, possibly. Let's go over. All right, looks good. There we go. Let's double click. Let's change our color to this night to this nice purple color. Um, this one is really simple. Okay, let's right click, blending options, and let's hit inner shadow up top here. Let's turn on choke, increase the size a little bit. Make this look smooth like that. Lower the opacity. Um, let's go in the shadow again. Some color white. Negative nanina. Alright, okay, add this little additional outline here. Alright, now let's add a drop shadow. Okay, let's click here and let's click on the color. Alright, it looks good to me. And let's just type out leaderboard. Um, there is a drop shadow on the text, so we're just gonna add that quickly as well. Let's go. This is nice. Alright. Two. That's good enough. I'm just gonna group this up, so to control G like that. This is gonna go right here leaderboard and there's also this little divider i'm just gonna use this and just make it thinner like that so right here leaderboard and let's move this out the way leaderboard and it's gonna go down copy these skill book all right last but not least let's go ahead and Make this little X button, so X. And we're gonna change the color to this shade here. And I'm just gonna grab the drop shadow from this text, so right click, copy layer style, and just paste it onto the X. And it should pop out like that. Just place this right in the corner. Let's also type this out, so Goku. There we go. Nice, nice. Oh, let's make these uh, little progress bars, so new layer, round the rectangle tool again, let's go over, uh, I'm going to change the radius to 7, I'm going to try 7, alright, that's fine, this will just go over, we're going to double click, select this color, let's get a darker shape, you just got to adjust it a little bit, double click, let's go in the shadow, let's make sure the color is black, like so, Move this right here, copy this, I'm going to remove the effects here because I'm going to change the color to blue, blending options, and I'm going to add a bevel and emboss, like that, like that right there, perfect, soften a little bit, there we go, alright. We could just drop this down. Okay, we could duplicate these. This one down here. Add some text here as well. That's uh, inaccurate. This one might be 63. Alright, I'm just gonna add some free icons I found on flaticon.com. So it's not as empty. Uh, trophy is gonna be right here. Here, book is gonna go here and show chest right here. Okay. And there you guys have it. 
that is how you can make this character page UI for your game. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to share this video with anybody that you think it might be able to help. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, check out our store. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.